dance was a major theme for the Catholic Church's 2024 Feast of Pentecost or birthday of the Church anniversary of the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Young people declared the Mass open with a dancing procession through the aisles of the cathedral. <laughs> The Holy Sisters also used dance to bring in the good book for the reading of the Gospel. Archbishop Gabriel Malze noted the importance of the edifice and its significance in the spiritual life of the nation. As a national landmark, she has served and nurtured the hundreds of thousands from the womb to the tomb. She has served as a vital space for those who are seeking a little quiet time, a little quiet time with the God on their way to work or in the middle of the day, just a quiet time. The Cathedral of, our, of the Immaculate Conception has been a source of solace for many troubled hearts. She has been a venue of hundreds of great parochial and national celebrations that have touched the lives of many. I recall my cousins from Castries coming on vacation in Monaco and speaking of the Cathedral with a certain sense of pride that they belong to the mother church in the Archdiocese. I always remember that a mother hand always embraces all her chicks under her wings. That is the function of the cathedral as it stands. Mauser questioned how the sacred place will be used to continue to serve the people of God. He called on Christians to utilize the gifts from God. Sometimes we believe that we are too bad, we are not unworthy, or we are not, not worthy, and that we don't deserve to be called a child of God. We need, brothers and sisters, to stand up and claim our name and our identity as children of God, baptized in the same spirit of Pentecost, to build the body of Christ. The Archbishop says that for Christians, only in the Spirit of God resides the right perspective. St. Paul puts it well when he says to us, No one can say Jesus Christ is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 3. It means that we can shout out his name and excite ourselves from now till doomsday. It is only if we, each one of us, permits the Holy Spirit to guide our lives and under his influence seek to build the Christian community can we become the church that God desires. Therefore, while we pray for a new Pentecost, it is quite fitting at this point to thank God for all the bishops, the priests, the deacons, all the religious and the laity who have labored long and hard to build this church which we are privileged to enjoy today. Pentecost is the feast of the Universal Church which commemorates the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Apostles 50 days after the resurrection of Christ. Tino Filibi, HDS News